In the My Math Lab course for Peter Tannenbaum's Excursions in Modern Mathematics, you'll find a series of Java applets. These are in the Multimedia Library. This is a quick tour of how one of those works just to give you an idea of how you might implement them in class. For now, let's focus on voting methods. In voting methods, what you would do is to create a preference schedule and use that same preference schedule and apply it to different voting methods. When you're creating the schedule, you can select how many candidates you'd like, the number of columns. You may even decide to rename them. So rather than naming them A, B, C, D, and E, in this case, we can decide a few state names. After you've entered in your candidate names, once you click Read Choices, those names will then appear in the drop-down menus. So as you create your preference, all you would do is to select the order in which you would want them to appear and then assign them a number of votes. You would continue to do that for each of the different columns. The only guideline here is that you would only want to have each name appear once in each column. After you've created the schedule, the same schedule would appear in each of the different voting methods. Let's start out with plurality. When you click over to plurality, what you would do is select each candidate. What's going to happen is the system will count the number of votes for each of the candidates. Once you have selected each of the candidates one time, it will calculate the winner. The goal here is to give you the same teaching moment you might have with a chalkboard, but you won't have to do all of the calculations by hand. Next, let's go over to the Borda method. Here, what you'll see is it's doing the math for you. It's calculating the number of votes and multiplying it by each selection. Again, the goal here is to give you the same teaching moment, but to take out some of that computation at the front of the room and make it a little bit quicker. At the end, it will sort the results for you. After Borda, we can move on to plurality with elimination. Here, what you would do is eliminate the weakest candidate. After each round, another candidate is eliminated until you reach a winner. Finally, there is pairwise comparison. In this model, what you would do is select two candidates. So we'll start with California versus Texas and hit compare. And likewise, you would choose each combination and it would be tracking on the right hand side it tallies the number of votes, and when you've gotten through each of the different possible combinations, it'll give you the sorted result at the bottom. So that's one example, but there are many more. To access these and other applets, visit mymathlab.com.